Yes. Okay. We're, we're, it's ticking. Okay. So, so I do this. So this is, what are we filming? Um, your internet questions video. Hello, YouTube. I'm Great Aunt Lydia. And welcome back to this, this show where I am trying to explore and become part of the conversation that is happening culturally. You know, I don't, I, I'm an old person, but I don't want to be an old person, if you, if you know what I mean. And part of that has been, you know, I have my, my new computer here and I've got, I've got the, the cellular telephone and I'm, I'm, I'm working on, on figuring things out, you know. Because I, I just, I don't want to be one of those old people who doesn't know how to do anything. You know, I was, I was in line at the Target the other day. I was waiting to return something that I had bought, had a lovely associate help me out. But there was a man behind me who stopped one of the workers and asked him to help with his, dial his cellular telephone because he didn't understand how it works. And I just, I don't want to be that person. That And this man was much younger than I am. So I just, I don't want to be that person. But, so, I've set up all the accounts and things. I've got my computer. I've been playing around on the internet for a little bit now. It's been a couple of weeks since I've really been been digging in and, and, and doing the, the, I suppose you can call it research. You know, I've learned many things, including some things I'd rather not know. But now I just, I have to, I have some questions, some questions now that I've done this, you know, and, and so KJ thought we would do, do them on, on the video. And I'm sure that the, some of these questions are going to be, um, you know, I hate that thing of there are no stupid questions because there absolutely are stupid questions. And, um, I'm sure some of these, I, I and I do think that it's, it is a matter of perspective, right? Whether whether a question is stupid or not, because obviously, if it's something like, if I ask you, KJ, a question about the music things, when you have all of this knowledge about the music, um, I might ask you what seems like a stupid question because you do this every day, you know. Sure. So I hate that thing of, of there being no stupid questions. So I'm sure I'm going to be asking some stupid questions. But if I answer, if I ask a question and, and my nephew over here can't give me an answer, I would love some suggestions down in, in, the, in the comment section. So I've been playing around on the internet. How do I pause the internet? Because uh, it, it, is it just always on? Am I, am I wasting, like am I wasting electricity? Is it like that? Like is my internet bill going to go up because I'm, because I'm leaving it on? No, not, not like the electricity. So it's, it's just, it's just always on. Yeah. Okay. Well, that, that's why it slows down all the time because it's always on in everyone's computer. People complaining about how slow it is. I am trying to look at the camera, but I'm, I'm asking you the question. So it's hard to be looking at the camera when I'm asking you the question. Right. I get that. I'm not used to this. I know. That's why I'm reminding you. What is streaming? Oh. Because I hear about this streaming all the time. Yeah. I know that it's like it's the Netflix mm -hmm. and the the U YouTube is is streaming and and the the Hula thing. Hula, yeah. You know, I remember I remember when Netflix would just deliver DVDs in the mail. That was such a it was such an innovation, so revolutionary at the time. It was. Do you, are you do 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 the young people know that Netflix started out as a company that that delivered DVDs? Some of you don't even know what a DVD is, I'm sure. Don't even get me started on that whole, you know. But you see, this is what I mean. I don't want to be one of those old people who does the back in my day thing. But, you know, back in my day, we had eight track tapes. Look that one up, why don't you? I know you all know what records are because those are, those are coming back. Those are now fashionable again. So the internet is always on. Yeah. And there's always the streaming happening. So that's another problem. There's just, there's just comments and advertisements and, and things that just, it must clog up the internet, right? Well, right. Is the, is the internet clogged? Does that happen? No, not, I mean, there's traffic, but it, it doesn't clog the way you're, you're talking about. Now I'm sure, I'm sure this is one of the stupid questions, but somebody told me that there are cookies mm -hmm. on my computer. Is that because I went to websites that have recipes on them? 
No. No, it's not. So there's there's the the the, the Bowser browser. Mm -hmm. Not not the Bowser, that's from that that Mario Brothers video game. Yeah. It's about a browser. Like oh, I just got it. Like you browse things. Oh. Well, I feel I do feel don't put that in the video. So the browser has windows and that's where you actually see the internet, right? Now there's the window and then there's tabs, right? The tabs are the things at the top of the window. Yeah. And there can be, I can be, I can be looking at different things in different tabs. Right. Okay. Got that one. Now, sometimes I'm typing in the, the www dot and it fills up the rest of the little bar where I'm typing. Like, why does it do that? I'm not really sure, but it's, that's often because of your search history. Also, you know, you don't have to type www. I don't have to type the www part? No. Really? No, you don't. Not anymore. But I know that stands for World Wide Web. Yeah. It seems like such a crucial part. Well, the browser knows you're on the web. So what is... So... So we don't use the www. Okay. And so it fills in the thing because it, it's remembering my history. Okay. So that's one of the things that you hear them talking about sometimes about thinking that it's bad because it remembers all the information about you. Okay, that's that's how it knows I was looking at things on, on the Amazon. Okay, interesting. So does the dot .com stand for anything? Uh, commercial. Commercial, I see, okay. Commercial, okay, I see. So so the, so there's dot .govs I know, so that must, that must be government and Org, 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 organization, I assume. Okay. You know, I don't, I, I don't see why people complain about learning this. That is very intuitive. Dot gov, you know, government, first three letters. I suppose instead of asking you all these questions, I could have just put it into the Google, right? Oh my, using the internet to answer questions about the internet. Very metaphilosophical. And I went to, so I went to one website and it was, instead of .com, it was .co.uk. So does the CO stand for country and the UK is for the UK? Yeah, exactly. Okay. So that's like an international telephone code. Okay. Well, that makes, per that makes perfect sense. Okay. Well, let's, let's see. No, I think that's all I, all I had on the, on this list I made. Um, well, you know, I'm sure, I'm sure I'll come up with more as I continue to surf the web. Well, that's a good one. Why do they call it surfing the web? It's not like spiders surf on their webs or... Is that just, is it just that surfing is a, is a, is an action that you can do? I, I do not know. Well, I hope that you, that's it for this video. I hope that you continue to come along with me. Great Aunt Lydia, as I continue to explore this wonderful pop culture world that we are living in these days. It really is an extraordinary time to be alive. As 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 difficult as things may have been these past few years, what with with well, we all know why. As difficult as it has been, it is truly just a wonderful time for discovery, for knowledge. Just to be a human being in this time is really, truly extraordinary. And I hope that you can remember that. I know it's difficult sometimes to remember such things, especially if you're having a hard time like so many people are. But I hope that, I hope that this video can, can help you have a moment away from that if you so need. So I hope you have a lovely time, my dears, and, and thank you for watching. Like and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you in the next video. I am going to need a refill if we're going to be filming much longer.